These are the keys to the cloud. And this is the man who's going to let us in. Somewhere in the building, the cloud is quietly working away with its many billions of bytes of storage on mainframe computers. This is where businesses like online shops store their data. To keep running, the cloud needs plenty of cooling. It's a huge electricity hog, and it's Daniel Brooks' job to save power. One solution is to use air from outdoors instead of a refrigeration unit. Coupled with a cold aisle containment system, this method can cut energy consumption by up to 30%, and it can be operated year-round. When it gets really cold in the winter, we mix the incoming air with the warm air in the computing room, so we're always keeping the temperature constant. It's supposed to be 16 degrees Celsius, and it has to be kept at that temperature. Brook is in a hurry. New mainframes are being delivered. The Berlin air has dirtied the filters, and they have to be replaced. Now he can show us how the cooling system works. As you can see, the cold air comes through the vents down there. It's sucked in through that channel there on the back. Then it passes through the filter system in here, up through the flaps, and into the double door. Filming in a data center is not easy. Somebody from the company accompanies us to ensure that no trade secrets end up being recorded. And it's hot, everywhere but here. The cold aisle is the secret to saving energy in the cloud computing area. This is where the temperature always remains constant. And this is where the new mainframes will be installed. Time for a final check of the emergency power unit. The delivery arrives. Twice a month, six new racks like these are added. Each one weighs 600 kilograms. They're packed with servers. The size of the data center grows with the number of customers using it. We're not allowed to film anything that would give away the company's location. Strato has 1.6 million customers. No one is allowed to know who they are or what they store here. But all we're really trying to find out is how the company saves electricity. Previously, the entire facility was air-conditioned. But now, only the small cold aisle needs to be cooled. The workers are in a hurry. They've opened the cold aisle to install the new racks. That needs to be done quickly, and the cold aisle has to be closed again. Otherwise, it's going to warm up. The cold air comes through the forced convection air cooling units you see on the wall over there. It's blown in through the double flooring on our cold aisle down through here. The cooling is very precise. The data center consumes as much electricity as a small city, 22 gigawatt hours a year, we're told. The computers are lined up with military precision. Only the fronts need to be cooled. The cloud is even larger now. But is the cold aisle airtight? Daniel Brook carries out a final check using a thermal imaging camera. As you can see, it's 25 degrees Celsius at the warmest point on the computer. Now it's being adjusted. And now I can see where it really is warm and where something needs to be sealed off. Up there, it's 30 degrees. Yes, and there you can see the leaks that still need to be sealed off. There are 50,000 server rooms and data centers in Germany. By 2013, they're all supposed to operate like this one in Berlin. That will save 3.6 billion euros worth of electricity and still keep the cloud in full operation.